Hi guys, what's going on? Um, before we jump into the gameplay, I would like for you guys to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below this video on the game you would like to see me play next. Because by doing so, this action of yours will really help this channel to grow. And this active engagement with my channel will please the YouTube algorithm. In turn, the YouTube algorithm will share my, my gameplays to other game lovers who may be searching for these kind of games that I play. And also, it will help me to build this gaming community that I so want. But anyways, enough politics. Thanks for your time. Let's get back into the gameplay. See you there. Revelio. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the Helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect goblin kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle? That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, uh, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. Oh, man. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen either by the eye above the enchanted door, or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. 
I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. I need to go in there loud. Oh, this was that stage that I said I oh, should just leave. door is looking at us. What's this door? Revelio. Okay. Clever. So rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. What the hell's wrong with you, man? Filthy rat infested. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Right, calm These down. machines operate on steam. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Good friend. See you down there. I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. Akio. Rebellio. Well, that looks like something. I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Why do you like to talk? Get ready to fight. I'll meet you. Need to stay close to me. I've dealt with worse enemies than these. That was a little more than I'm used to. I'll Don't. get us through here safely, I'll meet. You have my word. Revelio. I'm surprised I can run up here. Oh. I am. Right. Don't wish to be seen doing. We're being watched by a door. Confringo. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, our meet. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be plans around here somewhere. 
You ought to come back on pretty. This took you for a troll the other day. A schematic? They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Revelio. Goblin food. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? Let me know if you see any more Rebellion. plans schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Empty-headed? They must be above us. Come. Who wants to be sweet? Revelio. They must have a no stealing roof rule because everyone here leaves their money about and being criminals they don't seem to steal from each other. Akio. <laughs> Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. I will get to the bottom Rebellion. of what they've been building down here. That wiggle worm world, whatever it's called, <clears throat> is something that I need. Okay, there are some men to the left on this. Get ready, Ahmed. Akio! Ah! Yeah! Let me also! Get you right to the Akio! Help! Ah! Let me also! Let me see. I 
I don't know why the hell that happened. Anyway, let's continue. Akio. Be the last of them, Armit. Rebellion. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodko what we found. People are gonna come now. Okay, he's gonna be out there. Must be a quicker way out of here than retracing our steps. Akio! Careful, goblins are no one's in there. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm <laughs> glad you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Let's 
We're almost out of here, Armit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. Can we please talk about what just happened? Where's the man? <laughs> Off on another adventure, are we? Where's that goblin? Can we please talk about what just happened? Okay, female child. That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Armit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. Let's see him disappear. Where are you going, bro? Yeah, you're gone. Okay, Lord God, where's the Lord God? Revelio. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. Is that what girls? When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled. It's that girl, the pub girl. And asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container oh, it's with that a girl strange symbol on it. From the past. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told oh. me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. 
I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Rebellion, bro. Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals. But the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. What's going on, You're Sebastian? Here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I needed to tell you what I've learned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it, but I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna need my um Loomis. That's what I'm gonna have to I'm gonna be saying that a lot. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. When does success stink? It's a trouble, my dear. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. The rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. So what are they then? Akio! Opening all of these is tempting. I'm doing it. I want money, bro. Uh... We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. I'm getting paid. This room is taller than it looks. Aki! 
Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Rebellion! I shall sleep better tonight. See that last time. Akio! And you can't even increase your capacity of carrying them. I think only time will tell. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. <laughs> Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Akio! 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 There's something here by the altar. I foolishly mentioned the relic in my report and was reminded to leave it where it laid. But research must come before my was it felty to the rules. I sense something about this relic. I was told that those chosen by English old ones have powerful intuition. I believe it. Therefore, when no one was looking, I acted. I conjured two barricades to isolate the relic. Ancestors forgive me, but I used their very bones as the key. Mm. I plan to return it, but first I must ready myself for our next assignment. Learning the imperious curse, whatever it's called, the spell is said to serve well against enemies. What did you find? Well, let me see what's in here. We're in the tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Akio! 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 Indani and Leviosa! Akio! Guys, sorry, time out, 10 seconds, just a light reminder, if you haven't already, drop a like, if you haven't already, subscribe, and if you haven't already, drop a comment below on the next game that you would like to see me play. It doesn't matter if it's a retro game, classic game, or the latest game. Let me know, guys. But anyway, let's get, sorry, I'm sorry. 
let's get back into the game. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades, I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Find a way through the barrack. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. What is this? Akio! Defender! Alright. Okay, so you bring Akio, the Guardian Leviosa. Good stuff there, right? Oh, it's got to get around. Okay, I understand. I see the plane now. So now I have to look for more bones. Akio, the Guardian Leviosa. You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. <laughs> Stop being a bonehead and come my way. It's going to be a fight. This is a jewel room. Get ready. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. What? The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Yes, I'd like to learn the Imperious Curse. How do you know? Where did you learn the Imperious Curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the Blasting Curse? Same idea. Except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Come just teach me. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. to me, brother. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Defender! Accio! Defender! Dead. 
dare you do that to me? What the hell? What is it? This one. Temporarily forces enemies to fight as if they were your companion while under your control they take reduce damage from other enemies to prolong their alliance to you also curses the victim and cursed enemies take extra damage I'm not into magic like that bro I like blowing people apart <laughs> Anyway, that being said, Akio. another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Okay. Hmm. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with rune symbols. Dramatic, isn't it? Symbols on the tower. Confringo! Revelio! Rebellion. We need to pull the handles in the order of the symbols on the tablets. Confringo! Revelio! 
Revelio. This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. we need to pull the handles in the order of the symbols on the tablets. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but it's not. Okay, this is what you were talking about. Akio! Guardian Leviosa. Accio. Okay, the order of the symbols on the tablet. Guardian Leviosa. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Revelio. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place.
thought that would never end. Okay, let's scan the room. Revelio. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. I'm saying be patient, my dude. What about money first? Human sacrifices, bro. Over a triangle, bro. Sebastian, the relic. Look. Could don't, it be? Don't move it, though. Accio. Revelio. Making sure I'm getting my money. Bro. Okay, let's speak to Sebastian. The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? Human sacrifice. I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. This is what we... I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must... Ominous! The sounds we kept hearing. It was you! I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on.
Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance. That the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. Sebastian ain't an idiot, you know. I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I did want to worry him all over again. He's left Ominous downstairs. Whoever uses it, I bet they're dying. Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. See the ops on the block, we take them out, Sebastian. You know the rules. No hesitation with full conviction. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She's a Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Felkov's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. <laughs> 